Hello, and welcome back to Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Uh, we're continuing on our challenge Flipendo. here in uh, the Flipendo Challenge with Professor Quirrell. We just got to open up this door and head straight on through and see what he has next for us in this challenge. So far we've learned the Flipendo spell and how to knock over cauldrons, and that's basically it. And hit uh, targets on the wall, like this one here. Flipendo. Um, <clears throat> and I believe we need to hit three to get that grate to open up so we can get in there and get that challenge star. Flipendo. And there we go. And we get some birdie bots every flavor beans, which I don't really care about, but I collect them anyway. And some more cauldrons to tip over. I find it's much easier if you tip it and then stand directly in front of it, rather than let them go all over the place and then go and pick them up. But that's just me. Alright, let's see what creepy Professor Quirrell has to say. Cast your flippendo spell on this b block to knock it out of the way. All right. Flippendo! Flippendo! And we'll climb up it. Now, what does Hogwarts do with, like, disabled kids? How do they get through these challenges? Flippendo! Well, you know, now that I come to think of it, I've never seen... I've never seen any disabled kids at Hogwarts. Alright, here we are in another seemingly pointless room. Flipendo. Ah, save game book! There we go. I'm not gonna end the episode now though, we're just gonna keep going for a while until we finish this challenge, hopefully, if it's not too long. And I'm sorry, it's acting a little jerky. I don't know why in this video it's being more jerky than in the last video. <clears throat> I guess not too big of a deal. Um, I've done I've done these challenges so many. Ooh, look at that! <laughs> Harry's magical. You can climb up thin air. I've done these challenges so many times that uh, I don't really even think about what I'm doing anymore. I pretty much know where everything is. Later on, when we advance in the game, uh, we'll get to parts of the game that I haven't played in quite a while. And they will be less familiar to me, so it'll be more challenging. But for right now, yeah, I've done all this, you know, because I've started playing the game and maybe not finished it, but at least gotten this far every time, so... Now, I remember, let me tell you a story back to when I originally uh, got this game back when I was nine years old. This was incredibly difficult. I don't know why it should have been, but I had to try this challenge probably 20 to 30 times before I got it. And I got f so frustrated that I actually ended up punching my sister, Cora while doing this challenge because she seemed to have a suggestion for every single block. Oh wait, jump there, do this, do that. I, it was just so frustrating as I, I just punched her. And uh, I was told, and this that was the night that I bought this game, I installed this one first. And it was, you know, it was exciting because this was uh, a top of the line game back then. This was the most advanced, amazing video game for computers that there was <clears throat> and it was exciting I was so excited I, I was planning on staying up all night long and playing this game but uh, I was banned from the computer for the night for punching my sister so and I actually ended up having to finish this challenge in the morning But, 
now I find it incredibly easy, so I'm not I'm not sure what was wrong with me back then. I must have had really bad reflexes or something. But it seems easy now, I guess, compared to most video games. Because video, I mean, this is incredibly easy. Look how slow these are moving and how short those gaps really are. There's not really much, um, much room for error. All right, we're gonna make it this time. And <clears throat> believe it or not, I believe this is the hardest part of this challenge. So we are through the hardest part of this challenge, and another save game bouquet. Oh dear, through this door, I believe, is the room full of gnomes. I hate gnomes. They're so annoying. This is a gnome, Mr. Potter. They like to pester young wizards. Knock him on his b backside to complete the challenge. They move quickly and c can be quite a nuisance. All right, now they're going to try to attack me. Oh dear. I'm, I'm losing my beans. Not that I care, but it's still annoying. <laughs> oh, there's one left. Here we go. I think I got them all. Yep. I heard the door open. And luckily the beans linger for a moment or so. So I got most of them back. That's good. And a challenge star. That brings us up to eight. Did I get eight challenge stars? I don't believe that. Oh well. You know, this looks a lot like the Gryffindor common room. I'm not sure what it is. Sort of some random room along the challenge. I don't know. But they're using all the same models that are in the Gryffindor common room. Alright, I think I got everything from this room. Let's continue on. This might actually be the end of the challenge. I'm not sure. Congratulations, Mr. P Potter. You completed the challenge. All right. You collected all the challenge stars. 20 p points for G Gryffindor. Now, hurry on to broomstick p practice. Back in their Gryffindor common room, Harry, Ron, and Hermione talked about their exciting first days at Hogwarts. There was much talk about the break-in at Gringotts Wizard Bank. But there was little time to dwell on this, since Harry and his friends were expected at their flying lesson with Madame Hooch. Oh, I don't even get a chance to say I don't want to go. I am your instructor, Madame Hooch. For your first lesson, you will fly through these magic rings. <clears throat> uh, okay. The speed up and slow down keys adjust your flight speed. For some reason, her voice was not working Ready, Potter? for a second. On my whistle, then. Now, let's see how you do with small Okay, ones. um... I think I can do this. There's a secret room up there, but I'm not going to try to get it right now. We can go back and go flying later. I'm pretty sure we can. These rings oh dear! Challenge a... I missed that one. They're too bright, and when they're against the sky, I can't see them very well. You have a natural talent for this. How can we hear her all the way from over here?
will have bonus house points for a perfect score. Now moving Let's rings. Let's try it with moving rings. Although, they're not really any more difficult than regular rings since you don't actually have to get through the ring. You just have to touch the ring in some, some way. So, and they're only moving a teeny bit, so this actually is not any more difficult than the small rings. Oh no, I missed one. Again. Always keep an eye on the next two. I think that will uh, keep me from getting a perfect score. Oh, you know what? I'm I'm gonna go in there just so I can. Ooh, <laughs> sorry, Harry. Time's up. A skillful <clears throat> display, Mr. Potter. 15 points for Gryffindor. Not perfect, but still good. I also congratulate you for being the first student to find the secret room since 1867. From now on, you may practice <laughs> flying at any time. You will find the option on the main I menu. didn't even have to find it. The door opened right up for me. <clears throat> time for your charms lesson now. Good day, Mr. Potter. I find it hard to believe that no one has found it since 1867. Wingardium Leviosa lesson. Our next challenge. All right, I'm gonna end this episode here. The next episode, we will head through that door to the Wingardium Leviosa challenge. Maybe that door, I'm not sure. There's still lots of exploring to do around this area, so thank you for watching. See you next time.